In the last video, we looked at one of the most basic elements of mindful eating, making sure that whenever you eat, you're sitting down. In this video, I'll be talking about not stressing over the perfect diet. We live in a world which is swamped with information about food, nutrition and dieting, but what exactly makes a perfect meal? It's hard to know. I still struggle with some of the most basic of food-related questions myself. I bet you're the same. Are you worried about eating a balanced diet? Are you worried about eating too much fat, sugar or salt? Do you think you should be eating more of one particular type of food or avoiding another altogether? As you sit down for your meal, do you think about what that food is going to do to you in the long term? Thinking too much about your diet, what you should or shouldn't be eating and drinking, can lead to a lot of worry and stress. When you're under stress, making the right decisions about what you should eat becomes even more challenging. So what's the solution? The best answer is that there's no such thing as the perfect diet. There are many factors that will lead you to making effective choices and most of these are dependent on who you are. So what should you do? Number one, focus on balance. When choosing what to eat and putting together your meal, try to find a balance between the three major food groups, carbohydrates, protein and fat. And yes, I did say fat. Fat is an essential part of your diet. You just need to eat the right types of fat. Good fat lowers your cholesterol and helps you to control your moods, fatigue and maintain a highly active mind. The good fats are monounsaturated and polyunsaturated and can be found in vegetables, vegetable oils, nuts, beans and fatty fish like mackerel and salmon. What does a balanced plate of food look like? Think about your plate with a cross drawn over it, dividing the plate into four equal sections. You should fill two of these sections with vegetables, one quarter with a protein and the other with a starch. For meat eaters, your protein can come from lean cuts of meat, turkey, chicken or fish. The starch can come from potatoes, rice or lentils. Now I eat a plant-based diet, so I get all my carbs, proteins, fats from veg, grains, beans and nuts. Number two, indulgence is good for you in small doses. A little indulgence is good for you mentally and physically. It's a healthy part of a balanced diet and it's nothing to feel guilty about. When you do indulge, stick to a 50-50 approach. If you want to have your steak and chips, have a smaller portion of each, a few ounces of steak, half a portion of fries, then balance the other half with some steamed veg or a healthy salad. Or have a healthy main course sharing an indulgent dessert with your meal partner. Number three, enjoy the treat. Set aside a time once a week, twice a week, to enjoy a piece of cake or a bar of chocolate, if that's your thing. If you like potato chips, there's a time and place for that as well. People get into trouble with these foods when they overindulge, when these treat foods become a normal part of their daily diet. Number four, try not to eat for emotional comfort. If you absolutely must have a treat to satisfy a craving, have a small amount and be mindful when you eat it. Take the time to enjoy it. In this video, we looked at not getting worked up about trying to eat the perfect diet. The main thing is to eat a balanced diet for the most part. None of us are perfect and neither is our nutrition. You can only do your best. In the next video, I'm going to talk about avoiding certain types of foods in the first days and weeks of your quit.